What's going on you guys? So today we're doing string repeat. We're going to write a function called repeat string, which repeats the given string exactly n times. Okay, so the repeat is our integer, the number of times to repeat, and our string is what we want to repeat that many times. So we want i six times, we want hello five times. Okay, so how can we do this? So the question is, what happens? So there's, I guess it's a trick. Uh, well, okay, we could use a for loop. We could use a for loop. Okay, so we'll have an input string. So let's do our, let's do our pseudo code. Function repeat str. It's going to take a repeat, which is going to be an integer, and a string, which is a string and it will return a string. Okay, we'll say a uh, new string is empty and for uh, for blank, because we're not gonna we're not gonna be using this variable. We're just gonna use it to to add to new string. We're gonna for blank and range repeat. What are we gonna do? Uh, so, okay, so, uh, and how do we, how do we say this in English? This is kind of weird to say in English. For, for repeat iterations, so we want to go through our loop repeat times, however many times repeat is. For repeat iterations, new string equals new string plus our original string. So it'll start with nothing and it'll be I. Okay, so let's do, let's walk through an example. Um, let's grab this. Whoops. Nope. Copy. Paste. Clean it up. Okay, so let's say repeat equals six and our string equals i and what is our new string going to equal starts up there and let's call this it's not really an index it's for iter in in range iterations so range it starts at zero and goes up to up to this number that we give as a argument. So let's say iter iter is going to start at zero. Okay. So iter starts at zero and we're going to go up until five. It's going to go zero, one, two, three, four, five, and that's a total of six. Okay. So iter starts at zero. So what are we going to do? We're going to add string to our new string. So string in this case is i, and now iter becomes one. And so what are we going to do here? We're going to go into our, our loop. We're going to add string again to, okay. We add string, we iterate iter, increment iter. <laughs> Say that 10 times, okay. Then we go like this, increment iter, go like this, increment, go like this, increment, go like this. And now this is five is the last value that iter takes uh, from this range function. Range goes zero, one, two, three, four, five. It does not do six. So let's see how many we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we repeated it six times. So let's let's do let's do one more. We'll do we'll do hello. Whoops. Let's do hello. Repeat, and how many are they going to do? Five. Five hellos. It is going to start at zero. Our string is hello. Okay, so we start off at zero, and what are we going to do? We're going to add new string. We're going to add string to new string. Okay, increment i. Whoops. Add a hello. Increment iter. Add a hello. Increment iter. Add a hello. Increment iter. Add a hello. 
and 4 is the last element that iter takes on from the range function. It goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and let's compare that to what we got here. I'm counting big H's. Or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, let's count those H's. Search for H. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so it looks good. Our logic seems sound. So now let's write our our convert our pseudocode to Python and give it a test. So repeat str. So repeat it's going to be an int and string whoops string will be a string and we're going to return a string. Start our new string is zero or is empty and then we're going to return new string eventually and we're done and what we're going to do we're going to say for iter in range iteration or range repeat we're going to go over repeat what are we going to do we're going to say new string equals our previous value for new string plus our input argument string okay so let's give this a shot and see if this works Okay, so it worked. So now let's check and see how other people might have done this. Maybe maybe a different a different way. There are many different ways to do this. Okay, so you didn't have to use a loop, you could also just multiply. In in Python when you um when you multiply a string, it just repeats it so a times five is is a five times. Whoa, what? What is going on? Um okay, we're not gonna mess with that. That's kinda weird. <laughs> um anyways, that was string repeat. Thanks for watching guys, and stay tuned for the next one.